Welcome back to Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. We are in the shield maze and let's just move on. Ready for anything. Probably a good idea to bring the entire party. Let's see here. Should be two there and two there. Move Save the there. last one for me. <laughs> Sharpshooter, cleric, fighter, cultist. We'll go after the cleric. That works. You won't survive me. And that works too. Let's try this way. I'll cut you wide open. Endure this. An attack of opportunity there on no Wally. Glory without risk. Hmm. Yeah, just shoot. Move a little bit closer. The spirits demand your blood. There we go. So bad. This looks ritual pool filled with fresh blood. Okay, so first of all, we need to go downstairs, but I think Peps needs. No, this is what I need to drink a potion. Let's turn the torch. The horse did that. Okay. Sure, there's a trap here. I'll go ahead. Can't hide from me. Yep. I'll uh, watch your back. Can you go disarm that? Yes. I am helpful, am I not? This room also contains some cultists, as far as I can remember. Cleric and a hand of Scylla. So, charge in. Not that, that, not that that did as much good, but new charge. You are today's sacrifice. Make every strike count. A calculated risk. The inheritor, guide my blade. Very good. Another one of the orders from Osilla. I think I'm gonna leave that. Osilla's key. Summon small water elemental. And let's have a look at these. Bodies of the, the bodies of the maze builders lie where they were caught by the earth elementals and raged by the earthquake. The builder's tool lies scattered next to their bodies. I know the way. This room should contain a couple of monitor lizards. They will break against our resolve. Ferocious and regular. Go Let's for go their heart. Ferocious one. Can you charge? Can, but you can also miss. Probably oh, should mount see my own rolly, to be honest. Uh. Did I mess up again? This should do it. I'll cut you wide open. That was quite the miss. Move out of the way. You charge now? Yeah, you can. You won't survive me. Doubt I can charge. Yeah, no. the fray. 
things are in the way. Let's try this way. The spirits demand your blood. Ouch. Endure this. The light take you. This will hurt. You are today's sacrifice. <laughs> There we go. Four peps took a beating there. 85%. Let's save. I'd rather not use the one apprentice lockpick I have. I hope you appreciate this. Good. Amulet of natural armor. I think I'll put that on peps to be honest. Maybe Waller would be a better alternative since he only has 18. And we also need to put a couple of healing potions here. And then we can move on to the next parts of the dungeon. That is some maniacal laughter. Oh, it's Cambians. Ugh. Hmm. That's a very unsuccessful charge. I think I shall do Battle Spirit. A calculated risk. Nope. The this is in the way. Guide my blade. Make every strike count. Hmm, very good. Go for their heart. Let's use the magic missiles. Which she resisted. Well, a champion is a demon, so You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Anything useful? Masterwork, scimitar, composite longbow. Now that's useful. Uh, let's see here. Sila cannot use that yet, but you have a regular longbow, so that's uh, because that's plus three additional damage. You do add the strength bonus to the damage, so. Follow my lead. Definitely a statue of Baphomet. Uh -huh. What is that? I As do not remember be. this room. A half plate. Masterwork stuff, 95%. Let's quick save. I am helpful, am I not? The trickery skills allow you to retry. If you have a different character or you have leveled up, I think. I don't remember exactly the specifics there. That is not far. I am helpful, am I not? Now this room has enemies. Cambians. Oh. Focus a on the bright goal. future awaits us. I am prepared. Meditate on your mistakes. What's on your Might mind? Make you feel better. I wonder. We will win this war. Charging. Pocket <laughs> wide open. You won't survive me. The other ones are over there. Oh, it's actually just one. Okay. The spirits demand your blood. Endure this. 
This should do it. Didn't, but could have. Didn't do much damage though. One damage. Blood vial. Okay. Another composite longbow. I don't think I have anyone else in the party who can use a longbow. I'll go ahead. Okay. So the puzzle I believe it was yellow, blue, red, yellow, but let's have a look. Yellow, blue, red, yellow. Some of the puzzles in this game are this is one of the simpler ones. Some of them are so annoying, and I have no idea how people even figured out the solutions for them. Sila <clears throat> peers closely at the sword, which seems utterly unexceptional to you. Wait, this is... No, it can't be. Her eyes light up. I know that hilt. Radiance, the sword of the great Yaniel. That's what this is. But it's meant to be in the Tower of Estrod with all the other relics. That's what I heard, at least. Of course this rusted piece of metal must be that very same sword. Camellia rolls her eyes. I think you merely wish that this were the illustrious sword of legend. You don't get it. I've seen this sword a hundred times. In paintings and in the hands of the Yaniel statue. I've even thought of going to the Estrod Museum to see the real thing in person. How did it get here? So special about it. Sila frowns. Now? Nothing, I guess. But this sword was legendary in its day. People say that when Yaniel held it, the blade would glow, striking demons left and right. Soldiers would see Radiance's light from afar and take heart, rushing into the fray and winning. But I don't know what's wrong with it now, or how to restore its power. All I can sense is that they made a mockery of it. You're empathizing with an object? Extraordinary. Are all paladins so tender-hearted and sensitive? Sensitive? In a way, yes. We are highly attuned to evil and everything wrought by demons. Radiance was in evil hands, and as a paladin, I can't tell you they did nothing good to it. Who is Yaniel? No. You've never heard of Yaniel? She's famous all over Galarian. She was a great woman. She was born in Mendev, and when the crusade started, she couldn't just sit idly by. She dedicated her life to the crusade. People say she was audacious and spirited. She was always the first into battle, and she never sacrificed other people's lives for a tactical advantage. That's how she's been remembered, as an incredible warrior who seemed to blaze with a righteous fury. In all the images of her, she looks capable of driving all the demons back to the abyss single-handedly. But then something happened between her and her commanders. Maybe they envied her, maybe there was more to it than I... I don't know. But anyway, she went into the world wound without her fellow soldiers, and she didn't just survive the mission. She even brought back crusaders she rescued in there. Can you imagine? She died as she lived, with pride. She was one of the people defending Dresden to the very end. That's where she per perished. Sila frowns. Don't take this the wrong way, but I really hope that she died quickly, a hero's death. Because if she didn't, that means she was taken prisoner and had to endure unspeakable horrors. I wouldn't wish that on anyone. You know a lot about Yanil. Are you a fan of hers or something? I suppose you could say that, Sila chuckles. I've always felt an affinity with Yanil. I know what it's like to not be what your commanders want you to be. Whenever I used to feel under pressure, I always thought of Yanil. Maybe some people didn't like how she was, but to the people she pulled out of the world wound, she was perfect. And to the people she saved on the battlefield, she was incredible. And to those who keep her memory alive, she is a hero. That is what counts. How could a priceless, how could a priceless relic end up down here? 
Yanael disappeared, but by some miracle, Radiance was recovered from the battle. No one else has ever wielded it. It is Yanael's blade and always will be. That is why it was put in the Tower of Estrod with the other Crusade relics. But now it turns out that somebody stole it. Sila laughs. I have this weird feeling like I'm rescuing a fellow warrior from a dungeon. Can't just abandon it, even if it's no use to us. It's no use to anyone down here, but what if it could be repaired? Let's keep going. Grab the I stuff in this chest. This. Scimitars. Ah, there are so many scimitars in this game. I'd actually make a character that deals with scimitars because of the sheer amount of scimitars available. Uh, I believe that was it on that side. No mistakes. Yeah, now the stairs... Wait, there's a door there. With a medium earth element. Okay. Are we in trouble yet? Um... Well, you can cast Cure Light Wounds and also cast Enlarged Person. Rely on me. Hmm? Time's not waiting. As for you, Grease is the only thing you can cast. Let's do that, actually. We will be victorious. You are today's sacrifice. Make every strike count. Let's see if we can uh, just get some Go for their hearts. free hits in here. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Let's try this way. Well, that's eight damage at least. I'll cut you wide open. Very you unlikely that survive me. Hit much because of the penalties to uh, this will hurt. Hitting with a ranged weapon when they are prone. The spirits demand your blood. It's ten damage. Endure this. Also doesn't help that we're so a calculated risk. Ridiculously low level here. You are today's sacrifice. Make every strike count. Oh, that was easier I than know I thought. What to do. Uh, I need the country dismiss spell available, so I can dismiss spells. Get some meteor dust. The whooping twenty seven experience points. What do we have here? E you can press Open G to make me. them stop immediately. That was in the nick of time I did that. I am helpful. Follow am my I lead. not? Ugh, treacherous. As it should they be. break against our resolve. Charge! Oh. Hmm, that was rather nice. Charge! This should do it. Go for their hearts! 
You've crossed the wrong mongrel. I could have asked for a better start of that turn. No glory without risk. Let's try this way. I'll cut you wide open. No, you, you won't. won't survive me. There we go. What's going on here? Judging by the corpses littered around the summoning site, the cultists did manage to summon a demon in the end. Well, if what they summoned was too dretches, I can't say that I'm very impressed. And then again, there might be other things involved. I think we should rest, if possible. And what better place to rest than just beside a demon summoning ritual site? Sweet dreams. I'll go through those things over there later on. Come now, Sila. Don't be such a sourpuss. I am trying earnestly to be a good comrade. I would dearly like to chat with you. You are a strange girl, Cammy. Always so pleasant, like a chirping bird, but strange nonetheless. The uh, corruption isn't really relevant yet. That is not far. Okay, do I have anything that I can buff it? Reduce person. Potion of bark skin, that should give us to armor class. We also got bears endurance. Protection from chaos, that's probably useful here. Bless lasts for one minute per level, one round per level. For those two, and that one. Shield of Faith. I'm going to give one to each of our animal companions because the fight that we are going to have down here is actually rather nasty. Protection from evil. What level is it? Level 1. <laughs> Protection from chaos, also level 1, so it's 1 minute. Okay, uh, let's save. Together we stand. That's going to last for one minute. That's going to last for five minutes. That's going to last for one minute. So let's use that one. It's ten minutes, so let's use that one. Focus on the goal. It's one hour. There we go. Praise Sayomade. Here you are, huddled together like a herd of animals. Pitiful monsters, not human or demon. Even tieflings are less effective than you. But I, your master Savamalek, can make you better, stronger. I can satisfy your hunger, starvelings of the dark. Submit to me. 
No, we are the descendants of crusaders. Trusting a demon would be a betrayal of their memory. Something was said that I lost. Well, who is the next descendant of crusaders who values old legends more than their life? Beasts, monstrous in human guise, reveal your true nature. This is the sweet, wholesome flesh of a righteous Azimar. Eat, underground crusaders. Eat the flesh of the crusader from above. Find your true strength. You rush at the demon, but the air seems to grow thicker with every step. You feel like you're watching from underwater as you see the mongrels fall to their knees one after another and crawl to the Azimar's body. You hear their fangs tearing through the flesh, you hear the sloshing of blood, you hear the former mongrels snarl like animals, fighting over the most tender and juicy bits of meat. Some lines from Urgothoa's sacred text float into your mind, as if of their own volition. You can make a great marinade, marinade for Asimar flesh using honey and pomegranate ju juice. To make the meat even more tender, roll it in breadcrumbs before frying. Okay, I did not know that the game actually factored in deities that way. Now I know. You. Your companions writhe in agony. Writhe in agony. One clutches at their head, another doubles over. You feel saliva pool in your mouth. The metallic tang awakens hunger in you. The hunger turns to rage. This winged filth dares to try to bind you to its will. It dares to tempt you with a sweet scent of meat untainted by corruption. The wretch must die. Die. And still, the clarity remains within you. Somewhere deep down, beneath the veil of rage and anger, you sense the light trying to break through. I'm going to go with the angel mythic path here, not the demon one. By sheer force of will, you master your rage and almost in response, warmth suffuses you from within. Warmth and joy from a simple realization. You can win. You can save these people. The power of heaven bolsters and guides you. Its light breaks free and, enveloping the mongrels, grants them the gift of blissful oblivion. Lowering your gaze, you see a scarlet stain on your chest. The wound has reopened, and instead of blood pouring forth, you see only radiant light. The demon convulses in pain when the light reaches him. What are you? Destroy this vermin! Osilla points at you. He's already wounded. Wenduag, kill! Wenduag silently emerges from the shadows. I'm no longer your slave, Osilla, but I will gladly kill anyone who pokes their nose in where it doesn't belong. You'll make a fine trophy. Right, um... That is a very awkward position. Smite evil. The light take you! And drink that. I don't think I can charge from the- I can. Well, that's good. That's very good. He's not dead, but... Right click to do a five foot step. And the then shoot. Spirits demand your blood. Uh she's going to do um uh, but, but. Let's use that. I should dazzle Mozilla a bit. Seven damage, we can deal with that. 
again. Let's do a five foot step. Endure this. Wally apparently thinks this was very scary. Sealer too. Oh, they're confused. No, they're frightened. This will hurt. There's not much I can do about that. Make every strike count. <laughs> hmm. Pretty good. You are today's sacrifice. I don't suppose there's anything else I could do. I can do air piercing scream. Uh, which dazes with a difficulty class of 11 on a fortitude saving throw. I expect Hosilla, uh, she has 10. Yeah, that's too much. A calculated risk. You crossed the wrong monk. Molly is running away again. That's good. O oh, mighty Savamalek, your faithful servant invokes you know. Now, demons, protect your mistress. She should be fully healed again. No, not thankfully not. Aussies. Go for their hearts. Stop being afraid, Wally. You won't survive me. You can charge in on that one. This should do it. There's one of those down. I'll cut you wide open. Uh, close one. Endure this. The inheritor. Guide my blade. And she's down. Let's try this way. Ow. The spirits demand your blood. Going to finish me off? It's not exactly unexpected. What else are we supposed to do with you? You're not just a traitor, you're a monster. The young ones believed you, and you lured them to a demon and watched them eat human flesh. I was trying to make them strong. What have you done for them? What were you doing while I was looking for ways to bring strength to our tribe? You're useless, Lan. I led by example. I trained. I tried to become stronger so I could go to the surface and maybe do something worthwhile with my stupidly short life. And I will do it. I might be the one to bring our whole tribe to the surface. But you? Why would you want any power that turns you into a monster? These young guys and girls, they trusted you. And they were turned into mindless animals, ready to eat corpses at a demon's command. I went through the same ritual as them, and I didn't become an animal. I conquered my anger. The anger that has been building and building in every one of us for decades. Unlike you, I have no intention of just lying down and politely accepting death. I will rise above all this, while you'll still be stuck with your pride, chewing on rats. A look at the wound. The deep, the bleeding deep wound on your chest is gone, like it was never there in the first place. 
skin is totally smooth and unmarred. <sighs> it's gone. It was just there, and now it's gone. It's got to be some kind of demonic trickery. You need to have a cleric look at that. If he had been marked by the Abyss, do you think some nobody priests will be able to help? No, the demons have branded this Uplander. And judging by the smell of his blood pouring from his chest, the demons will be able to find him wherever he goes. And they'll find you too, Lan. So, you've been serving Savamalek this whole time? Better to serve a strong master than to eke out an existence in a dark hole with no hope. I am of the Neethers. Our lives are short, but we are hardier than humans. I realized a long time ago that I was capable of more than this life offered. And I follow whomever is the strongest. I thought you were better than that. I thought you were proud of your heritage, but you're willing to crawl on your belly before anyone who's even a little bit stronger than you. You're not a mongrel. You're a cave slug. You have no understanding of the meaning of family or tribe. <laughs> oh, so now you think you know everything about me. You're one of the best hunters in the tribe. It benefited me to ingratiate myself with you. So I acted in a way that pleased you. Why didn't you try to stop us from going inside the maze? You knew we might uncover your secret. Saba Malik is always in need of new servants. You'd make as good a servant as anyone else, and then... <laughs> Once you've gone missing in the maze, not even the redoubtable land would have dared look for you. But then why did you come with me to look for the sword? So I could kill you quietly if you found it and stop you taking it to the village, you idiot. I would have told everyone that you got caught in a cave-in. But then the Uplander showed up and I had to change my plan. You said you went through the same ritual. Does that mean you ate human flesh too? Yes. Corsilla found me in the caves. I was lost and hungry. And she offered me a choice. Die as a nobody or live and gain the power to change everything. Sava Malik tore off a piece of an Azimar priestess's thigh. A big, juicy piece. More meat than I'd ever received in the tribe. <laughs> that was the first time I knew what it was like to be happy. To have a full belly. I swore to myself that it would always be that way. Then the madness and rage took over. I came very close to turning into an animal, no better than the weaklings you saw in the maze. But I am strong. I mastered myself. I brought myself under control. I fell so that I could rise again. Mm -hmm. You should have chosen death. Dying's better than living like that. You're saying I should have died that day, Lan. But then who would have listened to your feeble jokes? Who would have showed you the best caves for hunting? Who would have made you a man? I would have been fine without all that. And without you. Your death will make the world a slightly better place, Wenduog. What did your service to Hosilla entail? It was simple. I lured those I deemed worthy into the maze. To the rest, I told stories of the horrors of the maze, making them stay away. It all hung in the balance when the cave walls shuddered, and many of the young ones decided that the time of their great exodus had come. 
I had no doubt that Hosilla would dispatch a dozen young meters easily. But what would become of the maze if all the tribes poured in? So when Lan ran off looking for the Angel's sword, I went after him. Not to help him, but to make sure that the sword never reached Neatholm. It's a pity that you got involved and stopped me from killing him. But then again, the evening gong has not yet been struck. You sicken me. Well, you won't betray anyone, and again. You're all bark and no bite. Farewell, Uplander. Next time, I won't spare you. She'll be back, of course. She's gone. But next time, she won't get away. Damn it, Wendu. Why'd you have to go and... Anyway, there's no point crying over spilt milk. Give me a couple of minutes. I'll bring the chief and the rest. I need to clear my head. Chief Sol appears flanked by mongrels. The journey has taken its toll on him. His breath is laboured and the sweat is dripping from his bloated face. What? Watch this? Anevia gives a low whistle. Well, I'll be damned. Turns out old Holdren isn't as crazy as we all thought. There really were demons down here. I should have listened and sent a patrol down here, damn it. Orgus's lips curl in curls in distaste and he tries to keep his distance from the unconscious mongrels. You said you were in charge of reconnaissance for the Eagle Watch, Anevia. How could you miss a nest of demons beneath Canabras? Anidia sighs. Yeah, right. Like it wasn't enough that I sniffed after every damned shadow in the city. Everybody knows the stories about the demons living beneath the streets of Canabras. Those tales are as old as the Crusades themselves. I messed up, but you fixed my mistake, so thanks. We need to look after the uh, young mongrels. I don't know what they'll be like when they come to, but look after them, chief. They went through something horrific today. Not everybody is capable of enduring something like that. It'll change them forever. As long as they can hunt, the rest can wait. Uplander and you, Lan, you saved them. Only the gods can salvage their souls, but we are a tribe. We will think of something. And when they're stronger, they can go up to the surface. The time has come. Anivia, how's the leg? Anivia winces slightly, but forces a smile. Better than yesterday? Worse than the day before? I'm not gonna die, don't worry. This place must be burned with holy flame. The place is overrun with demons, but that's not the worst part. Wenduag, she's been working for the demons all this time, luring the young strong mongrels into the maze. He nods at the unconscious mongrels. We might still be able to save these ones. Can't get any stupider, that's for sure, but they might be meaner than they were before. But I suppose all teenagers are monsters in their own way. Sol laughs, but it comes out as a rasp. Ah, lamb. We don't waste words on people who don't listen to the tribe. You act the fool, you suffer the consequences. Sol gives a ragged sigh. Ah, oh, Wenduag, how could she? She deceived them and then she left. What should become of us? Chin up, chief. The kids you rescued are safe now. The demons are gone and the traitor's been dealt with. All's well that ends well, I say. It's time to get out of here. Chief, I think I'm going to lead our visitors to the surface, and I'm going to keep going. Something interesting is happening out there in the world. Maybe it's my chance to do something more useful than skinning cave rats. Sol heaves a sigh. Huh. You never were one of us. You always looked up. Think I don't see these things? Our life is not for you. You must go. But where? Where is the way out? Beats me, but these beasts got down here somehow. 
Lan searches for Scylla's body and shows you some papers and a key. I don't know what these documents are, but I'm sure this key will come in handy. Anivia eyes quickly, Anivia's eyes quickly skim over the letter and she passes it to you. Those cheeky sons of... This is all the information on the cultists in the city. The meeting places, passwords, their secret hideouts. I think we should show this to whoever's in charge of Canabras right now. As soon as we get back to the surface, we'll find out what's what. Let's uh, loot. Marching Terror. The Mongrel Moans. I don't think there's anything else here. I think I missed a piece of loot somewhere inside of the maze. Uh, I'll probably go check that out in between the episodes. I think it's a piece of armor or something. And then next episode we'll head up to the... Uh, surface as uh, Chief Sol would have put it so eloquently. So uh, if you have any questions and or comments then uh, please do feel free to leave those in the comment section and uh, don't worry about my choices so far. Um, you have to choose either angel or demon and the demon choices would not be in um, spirit with how the, the character that I'm playing would behave, so he would go with the angel choices uh, as long as it serves his purposes. But with that, thank you all so much for joining me, and I will see you all in the next episode.